In the vast, probably infinite expanse of space, you can find galaxies and nebulae that look like pretty much anything you could imagine. Today, I want to show you one of my favourites, a beautiful pair of merging galaxies that look just like a penguin and its egg. Let's take a tour through this incredible image, which combines visible light data from the Hubble Space Telescope with infrared data from the Spitzer Space Telescope giving us extra detail in this picture. The visible light shows us loads of details in the gas and the dust in the two galaxies, while the infrared light from Spitzer penetrates that dust and it shows us more of the stars behind it. In the not too distant future, I don't doubt that JWST will be pointed at this pair of galaxies. And the nice thing is that Webb can see all of the wavelengths used in this image, but it's gonna have a much higher resolution. So this photo can expect a huge upgrade in quality when that happens. So the penguin and the egg are actually two separate galaxies, officially called NGC 2936 and NGC 2937. And these galaxies are very much interacting. While the penguin used to be a gorgeous spiral galaxy, happily floating through space, the egg galaxy then smashed completely through it, probably a few hundred million years ago, and it completely disrupted the spiral structure that the penguin once had. Although serendipitously, it left it looking just like a penguin or a porpoise, according to some. Let me know what you think down below. Is it more of a penguin or more of a dolphin shape? Simply due to the presence of the egg, I'm very willing to call it a penguin because I've never seen a dolphin looking after an egg. Either way, the gravitational interactions between these two galaxies have left us with a real galactic treat. One of the things that's so cool about this pair of galaxies is the fact that they're basically the polar opposites of each other. The egg is a featureless, boring looking elliptical galaxy, while the penguin itself is packed full of interesting structures and shapes. In this image, the red dust is all of the material that's been stripped off of the penguin during the interactions, while the blue knot around the eye and the edge of the penguin is all that remains of the original spiral. And now the penguin's eye is the epicenter for a whole load of star formation in the galaxy. On the contrary, the green glow of the egg tells us that its population of stars is much older and new star formation has pretty much completely stopped. If it had some dusty features left, we'd know that star formation was still going on, but the complete absence of that tells us the egg is very much an aging population. Let's now take a quick look around the rest of the picture of the penguin and the egg. The two very bright objects above the interacting pair are stars in our very own Milky Way galaxy in the foreground of this image. We can tell this simply because they're so bright, but still pretty much point-like. And they also have the distinctive four-pronged diffraction spikes that bright stars in all Hubble photos have. Galaxies aren't bright enough to form such noticeable spikes in Hubble images. The bluish smudge near these stars is a completely unrelated galaxy. It's not related to this star, even though they look like they're overlapping on the sky. And it's also much closer to us than the interacting pair we're focusing on here. It simply happens to lie on the same line of sight from our point of view. This blue galaxy is named UGC 5130 or PGC 127172. And while it's a large sounding 230 million light years away, the penguin and the egg are battling it out at an even larger 350 million light years away. Collectively, the galaxies here are known as ARP 142, which is the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies. And it was compiled by someone called Halton ARP. And I think this is a pretty great description of these galaxies, very peculiar. The penguin and the egg were discovered all the way back in 1864 by a guy called Albert Marth, who interestingly has craters named after him on both the moon and on Mars. So this dude has quite the astronomical legacy. Eventually, the two galaxies that he discovered will merge into one massive galaxy, probably losing all of the interesting structure and becoming a boring giant elliptical galaxy. The good news is that this will take many millions of years, so none of us will live to see the death of the penguin. Finally, one thing I absolutely love about galaxies or nebulae that look amusing, whimsical or fun is seeing real science being done on them. Looking at papers studying a galactic penguin, ticking spectra and doing detailed analysis of the stellar populations and the chemical composition of the galaxy, all overlaid on a giant penguin's head will never not make me happy. I hope you've all had a bit of fun looking at this strange object out in space. If you made it this far in the video, I'd love it if you could leave a comment below involving the word scrambled, just to let me know that you made it all the way to the end of the video. And be sure to let me know if it's more of a dolphin or a penguin in your opinion. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.